This Forest Enterprise Scotland short film aims to show you what's involved in managing steep ground harvesting. We're using information gathered during our trials in Lhabaran and Inverness, Ross and Sky forest districts in 2012 and 2013. The steep ground harvesting project has identified the best equipment and methods to harvest timber. Over 7% of Forestry Commission Scotland's timber volume is on these steep slopes. That's 260,000 tonnes per year. My name is Callum Duffy uh, from Duffy Skylining. We're here working for the Forestry Commission on the steep ground working site in South Lagan. In this project we've done a lot of different trials with uh, felling jacks, um, Dyneema ropes, um, just seeing what the logistics are of taking big timber up on very steep ground. I work. Following the first trial, which identified limitations in the skyline, Duffy Skylining invested in a larger, more powerful skyline outfit. Hydraulically controlled winch and braking systems are capable of dragging a five and a half ton load up or downhill. Using a higher rated Kohler carriage and Ludwig chokers, this system relies on 18 mm steel rope for the skyline with 12mm haul-in and haul-back ropes. Where machines have to work in close proximity to each other, operators must have a good understanding of the risk zones and all other members of the team around them. The carriage and load are supported by wire cables. Steel cable is heavy and awkward to work with. Setting up the skyline can take up to an hour. Nylon woven rope, with the same strength, can be used with simpler carriages and smaller load sizes. This lightweight rope was also effective when used to anchor the support trees. This type of rope works very well with loading capacity of up to two tons on smaller winches, but wire ropes are used on the newly built Skyline winch. The Skylining method is used on steep ground because it's just too steep for normal harvesting machinery to get onto the slope safely. It's much safer to do it with the wire rope configuration. It also creates a lot less damage to the forest floor, as you can lift the logs out, including their branches, all the way to the forest road without any machines touching the ground or having to dig any tracks. We've introduced some new innovations and technology uh, into standard skylining practice, and we hope now they're going to be taken up by the wider industry um, and taken forward with future skylining sites, especially those along the A82. After five years of research and two trial sites, we're confident that we now have the expertise and equipment to tackle Scotland's steepest forests. The main developments in the industry in the last couple of years, I would say, in the felling side is, is the, the felling jack we're using here. Um, I've brought up traditionally the old way of a trees like this, big trees that were, had an adverse leaning them towards the road, they, you would be trying to hit them over with a hammer and wedge and you could do it, yes, but um, it was very, very hard work and uh, you, not always would you get the result you wanted, you know, whereas this felling jack here is, it's much less hassle on yourself, it's not, you don't feel you're knackered at the end of the day, it's a much safer technique. Um, you're guaranteed almost every tree will go over with this. So I would say it's an absolute godsend to someone like me who's been brought up the old style. And to see something like this actually working is fantastic. The working relationship with the Forestry Commission throughout the trial has been, it's been very good. Communication levels have been excellent. It's a refreshing change, to be honest, to be able to sort out problems together. The trial has been good because we didn't really know our limitations because we hadn't had jobs like that. Uh, obviously, when you find your limitations, you're a little bit disappointed, you know, and you try and build things to not be limited, which we've done here with this machine. We certainly haven't found the limitations of this one yet. This job we're in just now, it's an extreme job. It's 560 metres out, big tree sizes. 
but the machine seems to be handling it no problem. We are the, uh, pioneering, I would say, the excavator-based skyline, and we have I'm in monthly contact with my Norwegian friends that are there now, and they are they would really like to see this system working in their country. So, you know, we're quite proud of the fact that we have developed a system here that other countries have recognised as a, a good system. Now that the trial's almost completed, um, we can look back and say that it's been a very successful uh, series of trials. We've learnt a lot from it. We've really enjoyed working with all the teams that we've uh, met through this. Um, we've really enjoyed working with our partner agencies and our, our partner contractor, Duffy Skylining. Um, it's, it's been an education, but it's also been a pleasure to work with these people. And um, we'd like to thank everyone for sharing their knowledge and expertise from right across the industry to help us with this. We hope that from our experiences, others will have a, a smoother approach to planning their steep ground coops in future.